Hello, my fellow Americans, and welcome back to Victoria 2, playing as United States of America. So last time, we ended on a terrible note. Deseret, the Mormons popped out. Uh, socialists have taken over the country, even though we are literally a socialist country, because, well, you just can't please socialists. They demand, 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 and when you give them a lot of stuff, they demand some more. Go figure. Anyway, so... This isn't where we left off last time. It's a little, it's a tiny bit ahead just because I was worried I would not be able to actually save this campaign. But, unfortunately, I have found the solution to quickly get rid of these guys. I have quite a few more armies, brigades, and stuff like that because I have mobilized. Now, this is going to hurt my economy a lot, but I need to put these guys down as fast as possible and then demobilize and kind of recover. Also, I declare war on the Mormons because, you know, we love, we love independence, but this is an independence that we don't like. So... They can mobilize as much as they want. This is an actual army I have here, so we're gonna occupy them. They're raising, they're mobilizing, they're raising more soldiers, which is good. They just, just oh, shh, Nikes. Ah, oh, sounds like more rebels. Just rebels. Um, mil. I mean, I had to mobilize because I have literally just people killing each other right here, right now. What are you guys doing? Um, I'd recommend. You know what? If we're gonna use these guys. We might as well just kill off as many as we possibly can and then demobilize. I'm not going to demobilize until it is basically time to um, get, kill everyone else off. Pretty much. And yes, I do know that I have like armies down here too. I have been trying to send them, send them up. Ooh, this looks pretty dangerously weak. Um, well, I did have armies down here. Mm. Hmm. Well then. More inf uh, consciousness, yeah. Socialists, not. I'm not, not. I'm really not enjoying the socialists. I'm not gonna lie here. Uh, I will save up my technology. Maybe it's 1890, We can still do this stuff. Does anything else get unlocked here? 1890, 18, no, it doesn't look like it. Culturally, 119. No, I mean you have this. Oh, Radio Factory would be pretty good, actually. Ooh, mass advertising. I like that. Eh, we can do that. That's fine. Oh, wait. Go ahead. As we continue to put down more and more people. We lost a battle. We'll put them down. Oh, yeah. Very good, very good. Put them down. I mean, this is this is almost a civil war at this point. Like, socialists versus, like, just normal people. And some are, I'm sure some people here are actually socialists that we're using to fight other socialists. So, it's... It's getting crazy. Getting cray-cray, as some might say. Go ahead and take them out. Take those guys out. Just take them out and we'll kill off more of the Mormons here. Because we don't believe in this independent Mormon ideology. Uh, yeah, I will gladly uh, call you in right now. That'd be great. You know what? Let's call my allies in and see if they can help me put down some rebels. That'd be good. Let's see. Columbia. Oh. They're already involved in the war. Very nice. Peru. Good. And boom. I really want to not be mobilized for very long. It hurts your economy so badly, I've heard. Go right there. Well, it looks like we're recovering, which is great. And we got to put down the Mormons like crazy. Put them all down. Stamp them out. Oh, what a funny group. Moral Crusaders? Okay, wickedness, yes. Wickedness must be stamped out. Absolutely. You want... Okay, so what do you want? I really don't like these people. Pro... Well, they're pro-military. Trinket... Fine, you can have trinket pensions. So be it. It's gonna cost us some money. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's terrible. At least we can tax people. You know, they might be dying on the front lines. Yeah, might be dying on the front lines, but at least we can tax you. All right, so we're almost done here. Just give me just a few, few more weeks, probably at max, just so we can help take out the rest of the occupied territories and help beat up some of these uh, Mormons. Alfred, what's that? Alfred Thayer Mahan published *The Influence of Sea Power on History*, in which he analyzed the role of sea power in history. It was embraced by those interested in expanding both the U.S. Navy and the United States' worldwide interests. Yes, absolutely. Also, I did have a comment from yesterday saying that uh, I should probably stop beating up on Mexico. Well, I will once Mexico is fully American. Anyways, with influx of settlers into the Black Hills area, conflicts with local Sioux have escalated. Today's news reached us from the frontier that a massive war party led by an Indian whose name reports give only a sitting bull has risen up in the Dakota country. Or territory. 
Bring it on. I mean, at this point, just bring it on. Ah, good. Happy 1890, my friends. I hope we have a great year. Let's go and grab that. Same thing here. Nope. Nice. Oh, we put them down. And they're firmly part of our country. Now, stamp out the Mormons because... Well, let's go and demobilize. Yeah, they don't deserve any life or liberty now. We're going to put radical Mormon reconstruction. That's our goal. And I'm going to have to really reform our military here because, my goodness... Oh, yeah. Uh, apparently Spain went communist. I, I don't remember that ever happening, but um, now there's Basque Country. And I'm not in any mood right now to do anything else. You know what? Here's what we're going to do. I said this, I think, in the last episode. I'm going to make the 60,000 60, sack army right now. So, one, two, three, four, five. Let's get ten. That's 30,000. One, two... And just go eight more. This is going to be the army that will hopefully never get beat, never get destroyed. That would be nice. Craftsman, Ohio, how is... Oh, God, there's a lot of projects, but we don't have any money to do that. we got to pay off our debts, too. Let's see. Name, Wyoming, Ohio. Look at that. All these factories. We could They could all use more people in here. Uh, do that. I want to do that. Nice. Soldiers, you could probably not do that. Let's get some other areas that we need, like bureaucrats or something. Bureaucrats are definitely there. Bureaucrats are fine. Bureaucrats are mostly fine right there. Bureaucrats. Bureaucrats. Bureaucrats? No. Worry, do you want some bureaucrats? No. Oh, there's a lot of people who have claims on this territory. Uh, let's see. Make them intellectual. Attract immigrants. Colonial appeasement. What about over here in Vietnam? Oh, sh Nikes, we got some people over here too. Hmm. Well, that's really not ideal. I even sent the Vietnamese army away. I didn't even realize there were people here. Of course, it'd be militant socialists in Vietnam. Why am I not surprised? Anything there? No, nothing. I doubt we can do anything here either. Artisan, landowners. Screw it, just go with that. Alright, let's bring one army back to Vietnam. Yep, this is a group. I'm not interested in anything like that right now. Definitely not interested. Good. Do not enlist. Oh, we're at peace, which is good. We need to raise relations with maybe Austria-Hungary because we can. Maybe the Dutch. Probably our oh, allies. You all. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, it's definitely a 60,000 stack. To put down those people if they rebel again, which they probably will, let's be real. Good, good, let's watch this with interest as we lose more money and then pay off some more of these debts because uh, what's more American than being in debt? All right, so we're making an okay amount of money. Nope. This is definitely a Gilded Age. Nice. Pay all this stuff off. Good. Now, I'm going to actually lower taxes on the rich. Continue paying off the debt we have for the Panama Canal. I can probably lower spending a little... Oh, actually, yeah, I can definitely lower down that. Uh, sure, that's fine for now. Come down, down to half. Because we still need to take those guys out down over there to raise you up. And raise it up to max. There we go. Nice. These guys will do fine. They'll do more than fine. I will take them out when we're done there. Nice. All right, so America's looking better now. America's feeling better. We're doing better. And if the socialists want to rise up at this point, I don't know. Just, we got to kill so many people off. And they want what? Primitive genialism. What do people want? Secularized entity. Uh, 0.66? So this, there's really not much, like, effort for reform here. 3%? 6%? You want other people's money? Fine, you can have some subsidies then. Don't blame me when you can't afford anything. Oh, my goodness. Right, so you guys are looking pretty good. Head on back over to California because we got a little date with Mexico coming up soon, hopefully. And yeah, when can we go to war with them? Uh, oh, later this year. Great. Now we good, man. We good. But Paduka. Paduka. Wait, we are, we're done. We're, we're out of debt. Finally, we're out of debt. Go ahead and lower those taxes. Lower the tariffs. 
Thank the flippin' lord. We have money, my friends. We have a few dollars we can spend. Now, where are the railroads I can build? You know what? Business is going to be booming. Open everything on, the, on the here. Just open everything. I lost all my money. Uh, oh, more tax efficiency. Oh, we lost a lot of money. Oh, we're losing a lot of money. Oh, my goodness. Holy crap. Um, okay, back to ta taxes. Back to taxes. Woo, I thought we were doing well. Never mind, never mind. Ah, uh, Bank of Columbia. That's pretty bad when you have to borrow money from your puppet. Ah, okay, we're good. And lower the tariffs. Can you imagine if the government just says one day, all right, 20% tariff. The next day you go in, all right, 100% tariff. It's like, make up your mind. Seriously, make up your mind, man. Oh, yeah, we still want to do that with the, with the uh, Canadians over there. Cuba. You want some roads, huh, Cuba? Develop Cuba just a little bit. Anything over there? No. Oh, Vietnam, probably, yeah. And eh, might as well build up on Nam, just in case we have some rebellions again. It's good to have forts here and there. Well, this was definitely a very scary time in American history. I'll let you know what. Oof. So we can probably lower this as well for now. Got to keep making more money. Support for foreign ab abolitionism. Y yes, here in the United States, all men are free and equal, but in lands beyond ours, the bonds of slavery and serfdom are still wrapped tightly around the wrists of the oppressed. Abolitionists in the United States are arguing that the government should oppose slavery abroad and support foreign abolitionist movements. Supporting foreign dissidents is obviously not something that will make us popular with the country on the receiving end. So you're telling me we should get involved in other countries' affairs? Liberty shall not perish. Hutter le Jean. Wait, they allow slavery in Romania? We can proceed. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, Romania. What's going on, man? You like slaves? You like slaves, son? Hmm. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. We have the money for now to build it. Do that. Do that. Give me... Give you guys, too. Nice. There you go. Okay, you guys do that. That'd be good. You guys come on down here. Nice. Alright, so I'm feeling okay. We're feeling okay. Definitely feeling okay about this. And increase relations... Oh, it is 1890. Can we do any colonial... Oh. Oh, hello there. Anywhere else? Yeah, the British are doing stuff there. Ah, the Dutch already got that. I should have been looking, paying a little bit more attention. But, you know, honestly, we were pretty gosh darn busy with doing other stuff. Oh, the Canadians actually got that. Dang it. I think that's pretty much it. There's not really much else. I mean, except for this little territory here. The French have definitely taken over a good old chunk of Africa, but... You know what? I'll take whatever I can get. What? What is costing us the most? National stock... National stock about purchases, probably. We can raise tariffs just, 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 just a tiny bit more. There we go. Oh, I... Oh, yep, yeah, that's also some other comments. I have foreign armies here. Just delete them. We're gonna rebuild this... And let's see, you guys are looking okay-ish. Combine you guys together, see what you guys are made of. So we need one artillery and a few more guys here. And we're making that, that's good. That's very, very good, Colonial Crisis. It's cricket time, I don't know how many Americans actually play cricket, but apprehending Geronimo, oh. So the renowned Apache outlaw Geronimo surrendered today to Captain Henry Lawton of the Army with a small, tighter band of Apache men, women, and children. With Geronimo's surrender, the last shred of Apache resistance in the West has died out, and this once-proud Indian nation can now be considered pacified. Geronimo will, many years from now, on his deathbed, confess to a nephew that he always regretted this decision to surrender. Well, he was able to live. And Little Bighorn, Sitting Bull and his braves, have surrendered, and the Sioux have been defeated. While there will still be future battles between the tribes and ourselves, the sharp edge of the Sioux nation has been, now been dulled. Never again will the Sioux be able to muster a force of even comparable size, and the Sioux nation's future will be resigned to the reservations. It is with some sense of mourning that we see the passing of this once great nation into the history books of our young republic. Well, I think it's better than being dead. Let's see, you guys looking okay. Uh, that's a lot of artillery we have. Uh, we might split you up. So you are... Oh, you have an engineer too. Actually, I'm going to throw that engineer. I need, two, I need two infantry for this. One infantry, one infantry. That is really lopsided. Holy cow. Excuse me. But still this. 
Oh yeah, we can let time pass because we don't have we have too much infamy anyway, so that's fine with me. Good. Very nice. Very nice. Alright, so people want stuff? You want more stuff? Well, let's see. Pro military. Uh 2.87. I mean eventually we're gonna get all the stuff for people, so. So be it. Ah, cool. More production. 1891. Experimental psychology is probably what's up. This, eh, let's get that before we go to war with Mexico sometime. It won't be soon, just because I want to make sure that we are fully done with all this stuff here. Because my goodness, it was just nuts. Nothing but, like, a bunch of artillery combining together to siege out a place. Uh, oh, actually, that's not bad. Not bad, not bad. Alright, making quite a bit of money. I didn't even get time to build forts here. That's how bad it was. Holy cow. Let's build it maybe around the capital. Close enough to the capital, perhaps. But I'm glad we're out of debt. God, I wish... America can't say that in real life. Woo! The last time America was out of debt was in the 19th century, which we're still technically in. <sighs> you guys combine together. 112, 211. It's a little imbalanced. Actually, let's look at this. So, hmm. 211, good 2, so 3, 2, 3. Let's build another engineer. And send you down here to link up. Forts are expensive. And get over here, please. Thank you. Ooh, new so oh, in Fort Wayne, huh? Oh, you guys are split up between these two areas. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, don't need to do that. There you go. You can have that Oklahoma. Uh, so you need a horse and two. There you go. You guys are going to be staying in D.C. forever because you are the resistance group. You are the group that will uh, pretty much try to kill off everyone else. Which is a good thing. Georgia, holding out. Of course, the South would still hold out until the very end. Of course, and... Nope. Good. There we go. Nice. Better attack. Let's, do... let's make sure just we have the best army in the world. Alright, so let's do that. You guys can actually do this now. We don't need this anymore. So nice. we got a 60,000 stack. This is the army that does rebels, but they're going to stay in the capital first. You never know what might happen. You guys come down here, and you're looking pretty thick. Not going to lie, pretty thick. So you got two and seven, two and four. So you need an engineer. Would you work? That's eh, a Havana. Engineer. There you go. Maybe make a horse too. There you go. St. Louis horse. Good. Not bad, not bad. We got one army down here. Not great. And Honduras. Oh, interesting. I still want to take out Venice as well. Actually, how much would it take for me to go to war with them? Ten? That's a, that's a bit too much right now. Just a wee bit too much. A little bit of money. Maybe build up some forts around here in the south. So they don't get sieged out too quickly. There you go. Spend some money. That's fine. Ah, there we go. No one really wants to colonize Cameroon. Oh, I'll gladly take it, my friends. Gladly take it. We can do that. What do we have built up here? Wow, that's a lot of Brits. Infantry. Now this is just beautiful, my friends. Just beautiful. Oh, no. Don't you dare, you son of a gun. America needs this land. I don't think they understand that America needs this. We don't have enough territory. France, you already have a ch huge chunk of West Africa. You don't need this. Nice. You don't need a great power ally for this. Germany, would you like an alliance? No. Uh, UK, would you like an alliance? No. Oh, they have Italy and Greece under them. Um... I might, ally with, I might be allied with the Japanese already. Yeah, I'm allied with the Japanese. That's not bad. Alright, cool. Let's see what happens. Good. 
Wow, Dutch Niger. Wow, that is... Wow. That's all I can say. Just wow. Wow. Alright, so we need that. One horse, one, one, one. Go, we'll get it done. Get her done, get her done, get her done, done, done. And we'll build up our armies. And actually, since we have money, we can actually build up our ports. I don't want to forget that. Ports are incredibly effective and needed for this. We can even build up factories where we can. Uh, do we have a like clothes factory here? Yes, we do have some copiers as well. Good stuff. Copy uh, textiles. Very nice. Oh, wow. That was, took all the money we had just to build up, like, different locations. You yeah, know, Canada. Yeah, 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 I know. Oh, we need more money than that, than that. We got the money. And Boston is next. If... No, that's the max that we can do. You're maxed out. Rubber. Ah, oh, great. I love rubber. Ah, oh, yes. More prestige. Oh. France. France. How strong is France? Fourth in the world. I'm eighth, so we probably will give it up to the French. Well, that means we could kill them later then. Actually, double check. Nothing that we can really do, which is fine. Whatever. Which is fine. Suppress this. Thank you. Terra cells. Whatever. Alright. Guys looking pretty good. Get that other division being made. Alright. No one likes being conservative. Even then, people don't really like being liberal either. It's pretty divided here. Pretty darn divided. Ah, there we go. Let's see, 0.98, 1.4. There you go. Pensions. Ah, I love oil. Good. Anywhere else wrong? A wrong here? A long here. Level 4 ports. Level 4 ports. No, good. And increased relations with some people. Oh, you got some rebels too. Oh. Yeah, we might have to help you out there. Oh, we have another army here. Good. I, I was looking for that one. Do that. Go to prestige. Good. Get him on down here. Yep, we're helping him. Helping him out. Just combine them at this point. It's fine. We don't have a lot of artillery or even recon on these guys, but that's okay. Good. Good. Oh, wait, when did you guys get that? Oh, Brazil, Chile. Really Venezuela first, though. Nice, we got more money. And it's time to build up Hispaniola, maybe. Can we do that, perhaps? Uh, guys, I want you over here. Please, thank you. You guys do that, do that. If we get sieged out, we can always get a good defense. Better naval port. Or more, I guess. We do that. Maybe build some more textiles. And then maybe build some clothes, perhaps? Clothes? Well, there's some luxury clothes. You might as well build luxury clothes since we're going to build just regular clothes here, too. Oh, never mind. They have too many factories now. Colonial Exposition. Rising cheer for the Empire. I don't remember what that... I don't think we're an Empire. But you know what? Let's be an Empire. Nice. Nice, we're done with all that stuff. Experimental psychology would, would be great. I want psychoanalysis for way better stuff there, but that's okay, we can wait. Uh, time saving measures? Sure, why not? It doesn't cost that much. Research, research, research. So you are guard. Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking here. First factor in Arkansas. Very nice, very nice. So you have one, two, so you need three artillery. And then we need one horse and six. One horse and six. There we go. Another army here. 60,000 stack, too. Oil and Monterey. All right, so it's been some time. For the love of God, I think it's time to go back to war with Mexico. It's 11. And obviously, if we get caught, well then. So let's come. Nice. Uh, we could probably try that. We're probably not going to make it, but that's okay. Need more colonial points. 
Oh, we still like slavery down here. Cool. Life rating is pretty bad down there, not gonna lie. Uh, that opens us up. American Africa. What could be better than that? And I guess I'll see you all in a little bit. Alright, my friends, so here we are again. Sorry about that, but honestly, we actually still don't even have our war justification yet done. But I'm a little tired of waiting just off screen because it's already April 8th, 18, or yeah, 1893. So let's let time go on. Hopefully, the war exhaustion thing doesn't happen, but you never know. So I've built a few more armies up. I'm actually building up more navies. Navies. Task forces. So we've got. A few ships here, most a few cruisers, and I'm also trying to get a few battleships as well, which I think will come in handy quite a bit once we get some serious war efforts going. Still building more stuff. We just finished experimental psychology. I want to do psychoanalysis so we get mass advertising to get a ton, ton of education efficiency, which would be great. Radio factories, the talkies. I think that's that's pretty darn important. And besides, we're running out of things to research anyways. We can do more industrial stuff, which we want to do, but we'll see what happens. Also, I did give up those territories here, but, you know, I think we already have enough of Africa for now until a potential Great War happens where we have a ton of money, we're still socialist. Basque country, I'm... okay. Europe is at peace, which is fine. Brick St. Gentleman's Club, an excellent initiative. Shitty Cabals. A gentleman's club is open in one of our provinces, dedicated to further the interests of its members, charitable causes, and the nation in general. The gentleman's club is set to become a pillar of local society for years to come. Excellent. 88% of our population can reach, which, is, which isn't too bad. Uh, Europe has actually been pretty darn peaceful. What's going on right now? I mean, we're the only ones justifying on stuff. Well, Britain is doing Britain things. Brit the UK or the Ottoman Empire is doing Ottoman Empire things. New store in Min Minneapolis. Great, great, great. I'm trying to build up more forts everywhere just because... What else am I going to do with this money? I um, mean, I have nothing else to build right now. So... I'd like to build more stuff up, please. Thank you. Membership in the International Olympic Committee. The combination of renewed interest in ancient Greek civilization and the idea of sport as an important part of social development has led a French aristocrat, Baron Pierre de Coubertin, to propose revising the Olympic Games as a way to promote international peace through friendly athletic competition between nations. Should our nation join his International Olympic Committee to organize the first games? Interesting, but not at this time. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, can't I create my own Olympic Games, please? Thank you very much. Mission to Mexico. Oh my gosh, how much longer is it going to take? It's taking forever. Another... Yeah, guard. Get those battleships done. Number 999 sets and speed record. Engine 999 heading up the Empire State Express on the New York Central and Hudson River Railroad was clocking a speed of 112 miles per hour. Amazing. I love it. Oh, I'm trying to make some of these states a little bit more liberal because some of these guys... It's, it's probably not going to work, but some of these places are they're pretty darn uh, socialist. Not gonna lie, they're pretty darn socialist. Uh, yeah. We'll see what happens. We make no distinction in class. We got plenty of money. I don't know if we can see like where fort levels are at. I'm sure there's a button for that. I'm not exactly sure where it is. Excellent. Excellente. Just in case we get a couple more rebels here and there. I know I could spend more money on my industry, but I don't know. The goal isn't to make our industry massive. Our goal is to make sure everyone else's industry is really, really bad. There you go. Making enough. Oh, oh there's a port there. Nice. Nolans. Wave of colonial unrest. Situation will pass. Rebellion inner ally. Uh, god dang it. <sighs> Hawaii. 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 Why, why, why? You guys come here. Nice. Oh, we got some more of this. Ah, they really like us. Our secondary power. They really like us. Peru likes us pretty much as well. South America, Bolivia. I really need to get back into Venezuela and taking them out. We still got time, though. Still got time. And the Mexican... Yes, the Mexican menace. Good. What is this? Conveyor belts and excavators. Awesome. Now, this fleet isn't looking too... Ah, finally! It's end of December. Good. We got plenty of money for now. We got two battleships. Oh, we're d oh, I had this over here. Cool. Maryland, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, uh, Kentucky. Here we go. Nice. Awesome. Not bad. Another task force fleet. 15 screens, or really 11 screens. Some other ships I can get blown up that I don't care about. Beautiful. Absolutely wondrous. And you guys come down to Florida. Nice. Let's give it one more month. 
And actually, let's let's hit, let's go to Hawaii first. Good. Plus anyone? Peru. Hello, Peru. Bolivia, your turn. Uh, Russia. Very nice. The French. Yeah, a lot of these islands have already been colonized. It is what it is. Whatever, man. I'm not really interested in them in this campaign. I'll take him if I can, but we'll see what happens. Nice. Very nice. And, well, let's see. How many times do we have to do this, Hawaii? Oh, yeah, we need to go to war. Um. Now we can go to war. Let's go ahead and raise our budget since we'll go to war with Mexico as well. There you go. There you go. Oh, there's social. Uh, we're socialists too. Cut down size. Oh, just out of the sphere. That's fine. People don't want to come here because we're at war, but we will. They will. Cool. Oh, so, gonna be done soon. Let's get a few more diplo points. Let's we'll just go to war with Mexico. We should do okay. Should do all right. Yes. Thank you. And let's get home. Actually, you guys come home here. Wow, we actually got quite a bit of money. Sure, Liberia. Sure, why not? Awesome. And psychoanalysis. Great. Romanticism. Commerce. It's commerce time. The gold standard. Give me one more month. Lower that down just a little bit more. Couple ships here. Why don't you guys come down here? Tampico Bay. Mechanized mining, good. One more month, one more month. And let's have at it. Actually, which state do we want? Probably Veracruz. Yalisco, which one is. Ooh, they have coffee. I like the coffee. What do we need? We're importing tea, fruit, and wool. Tea, fruit, and wool, which I don't. Oh, like, oh I see some oil. And I think it's America time. Thank you. Then we call our allies in. The Empire of Brazil will not accept, which is fine with me. I don't really care. All I can take is one state, since our infamy is pretty bad. And that's okay with me. Tepic. Any other armies? No, I don't think so. Yeah, there goes Brazil. Whatever. You. Oh, that's not good over there. You guys are doing okay. Come back up to David. Do we have any... Oh, we can build up another army down here. That's not bad. What do we need for this group? A horse. A horse. Oh, that's actually a Yankee. A Yankee Hussar. Oh, I really want to see, like, a naval battle between my battleships and cruisers. No, you said no. Uh, let these guys heal up first for at least one month. Oh, nice. Very nice. We only lost... Oh, very good. Yeah, do it again. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, do it. Very nice. Mm, you guys can come down here. That's fine. Come to Tempico. We might do okay there. They're mobilizing, which is cool. Can we smash them? Well, we're smashing each other quite a bit. You guys, that's... How much defense? Three. Oh, yeah, definitely don't want to attack them there. So, you guys go there, and then you guys come there. Very nice. Guadalajara. Mass advertising. Very nice. Very good. And... Multiple pensions. 3%. 30%. Better safety regulations, I guess. Sure, why not? Nice. Keep on sieging them down. See what happens. The more times we take Mexican territory, the more times that, uh... For the few territories we actually have to take, which is kind of nice. You guys come up there. Take out Mexico City. Good. Go there, go there. That'd be great. Ooh, what's going on over there? Hmm. Now that's a battle. Ah, Colombia. Hello. You might be able to win here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're blowing up them damn ships. Love it. How much more do we need to do this? Nice. Ah, another great American state. You guys come there. You guys come over here. We did great. And we'll do that. And we'll do that too. Very nice. 
All right, let's get these Americans out of here. You guys can, can come right there. Build up some forts. Build up some good place. You have iron. So we're going to build up some steel factory. Because you have iron. And since you have oil... We're going oil refinery. Let's see. Actually, do we have an oil refinery here in Texas? That would be really good. And we don't? How? That's like 10% of Texas's modern-day, like, operations. Just, just tons of oil. Just flowing out of the ground. How, how do I know? Because I used to live there. Let's see. 9 plus 10 is almost 20. But not quite 20. You guys come to Salito. You guys come... Ah, uh, you guys stay there. We're going to need one more guy here. Send him down over there. Ah, yeah. Send you back to the port. Nice. Nope. He didn't want it. Ah. Uh, administrative efficiency. How about more taxes? Beer hall opening. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Oh, Great Wars. Nice. And, of course, Russia would be the one to discover a Great Wars, which I like. We just got to make sure that we're on the right side of the Great War. All right, so you guys are healing up, hanging out, having a good time. Uh, the supply efficiency, good. Nope. We no longer get wars, which is good. You guys looking okay. You guys looking... Oh, I got two of you guys here. Um, so I want Chicago, just in case you never know. Mm. Now, our military score is only 6. We'll improve that as time goes on. There's a second. So, yes, Germany. Please don't call me to any unnecessary wars. For the love of God, please. Let's build up another ship. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then... Just build a bunch. Because these guys get hit a lot, so... Obviously, we want dreadnoughts, but whatever. Nope. Very cool. Very, very cool. We're still getting some money. Not bad. But it's costing us quite a bit for industrial subsidies. Actually, not that bad. That's really not too bad, honestly. Social spending, that's costing us a little bit of money. More than what, 10 times. Well, less than 10 times social spending. Wowzers. Wow. Tariffs? What if we lowered our tariffs? So people can actually purchase more goods. Oh, yeah, that's nice. All right. Improved factories. Very good. Oh, there goes the budget. Can I build any more armies up? Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. That's all the Spanish I know. And we're about to get ready to go to war with Venezuela. Now, it should be okay. Oh, yeah, it's probably best to just start justifying now. I want them as a puppet. Just give me one month. That's all That's all I need. If I get discovered after that, then it's okay. But just one month. Come on. That's why I'm trying to build up more uh, supplies. Just one month. Alright. That's all. See, just one month. That's all I want. Just one month. Just one month. Not bad. Not bad. Saloon close. So be it. Can I do anything? Oh. Um, they don't need fuel. Does anyone here else need fuels? Electric gears? No? No? No, 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 Honduras. We got plans for you. Where is... Ooh, how about... Hmm. You got a lot of coal. Coal. Tobacco. A lot of iron. Timber. I need, like, a place with coal and iron. Hmm. Not bad. A lot of coal. Coal, coal, coal. I'll go over here. These mountains must have some sort of coal, right? A little bit of coal here. Oh, oh, here we go. Nevada. Oh, no, Utah. Utah. That's fine. Utah. Even though they like to rebel quite a bit, i uh, get a steel mill here. And then we want to build up machine parts. And after machine parts, we want to... We can only build one more. I want this. I really want this. But build a bunch of factories. That's fine. Investment banks. Cool. Let's lower some more taxes. Ah, African farms and mines. Is there anything else we can do here yet? Romanticism. Yes. Yes. High Seas Battlefleet. It is 1895, but we'll do some African farms and mines. We can buy the Virgin Islands? Ooh, nice. Let's do this for some. Farm size. Anything else here besides that stuff? National Banking Act. Build the Titanic. Dreadnoughts. Organize Laos. Oh, yeah. We're going to need to do that. The search for the lost city of the Incas would be cool. After 1905. That's good. Guantanamo Bay. Well, we already have Guantanamo Bay, technically. Annex Hawaii. 
We just have to have it after 1898, pretty much. Native status, who cares? Let's buy the Virgin Islands. So they were originally inhabited by the Arawak, Carib, and Cermic, all of whom were thought to have perished during the colonial period. The owner of the islands of St. Thomas, St. John, and St. Crow, the Virgin Islands are looking to buy, are, but they're poorly managed for decades, and now they are costing them money. A lot. There are still some elements that resist selling the islands to us, but with some right conditions, we might be able to make an offer they cannot deny. Oh, they're owned by the Danish. What did the Danish say? Mexico are demobilizing. And we might end up in a great war eventually. That's why I'm trying to build up as many task forces as possible. Or at least one at a time, of course. That's bad when Switzerland wants to get an alliance with you. Oh, and it looks like they're fighting the liberals in Spain. They used to be run by communists, but not anymore. All right, well, they look nicer now. It was very weird. When we took out Nevada, like, I didn't even peace out with them. They just peace out with us. Like, it just was auto-done. It was very weird. Am I still out with Germany? Good. You guys are allied with Russia. I'm sorry, son. I'd love to, but not right now. We might consider going to war with the UK, because that is my goal, to take out uh, Canada. But we're not quite there yet. My army just isn't big enough yet. Alright, so we got a little bit more of this. Cross of Gold. Ooh, presidential candidate William Jennings Bryan called for the minting of free silver, earning him nominations from the populist Silver Republican and National Silver and Progressive Parties, and rallying Western and Southern farmers to a common cause for the first time since the class wars. His endorsement was viewed by Northern industrialists as an attempt to sabotage creditors and break the trust. Interesting. I don't know that much about economics, even though I would love to study it. Hmm. I need some books. Oh, wait. Argentina's in the Dutch sphere. Hmm. Well, Venezuela. I definitely want you. How much further are we going to wait? Ah, uh, we're halfway there. Japan wants to go for Korea, which... What else is new? Anything else around here? No. Oh, we can get another army. Good. Let's grab you and put you with uh, artillery. Very nice. Conveyor belts. New stone and nomine. How is the party over here? Uh, maybe getting a little bigger. Yeah, that's kind of okay there. You guys are okay there. Spaniola is doing okay. Truly it is. Expand, expand. Man, we are making some serious money now. Love it. Anything else? Not too much. I mean, we're getting tons of immigrants right now. 67 million. Man, we've doubled our population since we kind of began. Uh, are you allied with Germany? No. Germany, I, I still like Germany a lot, but the UK definitely needs to be contained. Oh, they're allied with Austria. Oh, oh we, oh. Repay Cassus Belly. I prefer a better Cassus Belly than that. I much prefer um, the other one. What was it called? Puppet. Let's go to war before we're done here. And I'm going to send you guys down too. Actually, you have 15. Oh, it's taking a while to... Oh, man. Nice. We can make Venezuela a puppet. Glorious. Oh, look at that. Mexican socialists. I love Mexican socialists. Alright, so we're building up another army. Yes. Oh, I may maybe I should have set these guys down first. Give me just a little bit of time, then we'll head on down there and have a good time with these folks. And maybe start thinking about Central America as well, because we need really to take them out. We really need to. Canada, I know. I'm just kind of distracting the UK with putting my guys there. Can I build this up? No, I cannot. Peru kind of likes us. Ah, oh, look, they're socialists like us. Ah, oh, happy days. Where we can all be socialists together. There you go. Link you guys up together. Nice. And boom. Boom. Our army can never be great because, well, we can't make it great. Because the party in control doesn't like it. Oh, well, awesome. All right, good enough. Let's go to war. I'm not going to call my allies in. You want to take them out? This video is going to be just a little bit longer than normal. I need to call Columbia in so they can come in. Hey, you're social stew. Hey, buddy. Hey, hope you're having a good day. They actually have a 36 military score, which isn't bad. But with Colombia here, we should do okay. American Prohibition? So the American Temperance League has been increasingly active in one of our states this year. With the campaign to harass local public houses and liquor merchants, many of their more politically-minded members have even approached members of government in D.C., pushing for greater support of their campaign. Moralism, conservative... Moralism, conservative... 
Um, I guess I'll support it, I guess. Oh, we can even ooh, do that to Argentina. Ooh, I like that. Valera? Nice. Come on down here, see what happens. Oh. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Yes. Come over there. Yes. Uh, I'll ally with everyone, I guess. I don't really care. Sure. We'll get that one. Come over there. Oh, hey. There you are. Eh, you might as well stay there first. Good. Excellente. Take those guys out. I mean, these guys can keep trying to do this, but in the end... No, you hold. Hold, hold, hold. San Felipe, if they're attacking us, I mean, it's going to be a bloodbath for them. Yeah, we lost a thousand. Let's see, they got minus one. They've got a good dice roll. They're losing thousands by the day. Yes. Ah, there's that battle. Hawaii. Son. Come on, man. See? Beautiful. Caribo. Beautiful. And we almost have a high seas battle fleet. Nice. Anything else? Romanticism, naval stuff. Uh, colonial prestige, we could do that. Naval plans, yeah. Is there anything? I mean, yeah, I get more prestige, but we're already the second most prestigious culture in the world. Uh, we can do that. More diplo points, sure. Beautiful. Oh, let's have a naval battle before we're done here. Just completely destroy them so they have no way for them to resist our rule. Ah. Uh. America intervening in Venezuelan affairs. What, What's greater than that? Ah, uh, we just... Pff, oh, shush, nice, close, come on. We just dis dismantled that navy they had. Just battleships, just blew them up. Yes, yes, my friends, my allies. Uh, actually, I'm going to keep you down here in South America. Probably, really, David. Because you guys are actually going to come this way and return to the States so that you can heal up, pretty much. Nope. But that's pretty much where we're going to end today's episode. We have basically saved our nation from basically dismantling itself. We're making a lot of money. We took a little bit more from Mexico, which we're going to continue doing. Uh, we've added to our group of alliances in South America, whether they like it or not. And we have the potential for a great war. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you all tomorrow. austria hungary took a little bit more Montenegro, but I'll see you all tomorrow or Serbia. And hope you have a great rest of your day.